everyone and welcome back to my channel featuring a special guest Louis wanted to join today Louis wants to be like a dog of Glossier anyway so today we are talking skincare I'm gonna be showing you guys my current skincare routine I just want to say my skincare routine is very very simple very simplistic not a ton of products um, I've kind of learned over the years that um, Whenever I try and introduce a bunch of new products and face masks and all that kind of stuff, it just tends to break out my skin and confuse my skin and mess me up. And so I've just kept it very simple and really basic over the years. And that seems to work best for my skin. So I'm just gonna be showing you my current skincare routine. I used to have really bad acne. If you have been subscribed to me for a long time, like back when I was in high school, I'm junior college right now, so obviously a little while ago. Back when I was a senior in high school was when my acne started to get pretty bad. It's mostly kind of like right here, like on my cheeks, and yeah, mostly just kind of like focused on my cheeks. I occasionally get one like on my forehead or like on my nose or something, like one like really big one there, but most of it is focused on my cheeks. They're big cystic ones, like they're not just little pimples, they're the really hard under the skin pimples but it's not like the ones that are all completely clustered because they're not like ugh. it's like a really weird kind of like really hard cystic acne and it is like a cluster and it is on my cheeks but it's not like the type that you typically see on people i really don't know how to explain it but when my acne was at its worst what i did and i made a whole video like how i cleared my skin if you're interested um but I went to a dermatologist and we tried a whole bunch of topical treatments. None of them worked. Topical meaning like cleansers and sulfur treatments, that kind of like all like cleansers. And none of them worked. This is like going to be like the one minute version of that video. Basically none of the topical treatments worked. So I got on like a low dose birth control to get rid of my acne. So we were treating it orally at that point. And that did work. It took about three or four months for it to get into my system. So it's a little bit of a longer process. But that is... That is a shorter process than some forms of it. It took about three or four months and my skin cleared up so well. Um, if you look back at my videos from this summer, I was going without foundation. I did like a morning routine and my skin was so clear and it was just crazy how, skin, how clear my skin was. Skin was the best it ever was. Like I literally can't even get over how clear my skin was. Then I also have really, really bad migraines. And so they thought the birth control was like contributing to my migraines. So they wanted me to get on an even lower dose. And so I had to switch the birth control I was on because of my migraine, which really screwed up my skin. So it was pretty recently. It was like it back in October. My skin was never clear again. And so it's kind of starting to clear back up because once my skin, it had broken out really bad and then it never went back to being clear I thought it was just like one little bad breakout and it would go back to being clear it never went back to being clear so I realized it was probably switching the birth control so I went back to the old one so now I'm in the process of like waiting for it to get back into my system it's not I mean it's not too bad it's starting to get better but I have gone through like stages like around Christmas time it was really bad that's where my skin is at the skincare is what I used when my skin was clear when my skin is bad and now when it's bad right now some of these products will help with your acne a lot of these products though um the products i'm getting into at the end after i get like all my makeup taken off and everything do target like redness and acne and will kind of help they're not going to like prevent the acne because this kind of acne isn't preventable um the acne i have you can help get product like products to kind of like help make them like look better once they're already there like help reduce the redness and help them kind of like heal but you can't really buy any products to like make them go away or help you have clear skin because at that point it's a problem with your hormones so no product that you can put on your skin is going to make them go away you're gonna have to see a dermatologist you're gonna have to probably get on a low dose birth control or spiralactin you're gonna have to take some kind of medication because it's an internal problem at that point so that's kind of like what i've learned i'm like none of these products are going to help me get rid of it so i can help make them heal and look better but they're not going to get rid of it that's what these products in this video are going to do i just want to give a little background on that first thing i do obviously um is remove my makeup and i just use like a neutrogena or there's like an equate version i think target has a brand um honestly just kind of depends on 
whatever's most convenient for me to buy. Um, but it's just like an oil-free kind of like eye makeup remover. I forgot to grab that one, but it's just like a really basic eye makeup remover. So I'll just put that on a cotton pad and wipe off kind of like my eyebrows. <laughs> um, sounds so weird to say, but I'll just wipe off like any of my eyebrow product and my eye makeup. Obviously I take off my fake eyelashes first. Um, I wear fake eyelashes. These aren't eyelash extensions. These are the Coco Lashes Queen Bee eyelashes in case you're wondering. But I just take off all of my eye makeup with that. After that, I need to take off all of my face makeup and I don't use a face makeup I don't use a face wipe so every um, face wipe that I've tried to use has broke out my skin so I've just kind of gone to using a face cleanser and then taking like a warm washcloth and then wiping it off with that I have used and I've used this since middle school I've never changed it since middle school so it's the Clinique rinse off foaming cleanser mousse it looks like this and you really just need like the size of like a pea and then you kind of put that like you just put that all over your face and then once it mixes with like the water it kind of foams up a little bit and gets kind of like soapy so this kind of takes your makeup off and cleanses your face all in one my face is usually pretty clean after that I used to use the clinic toner right after that to kind of like tone and um it just kind of makes your face feel fresh and like removes dirt and oil found that the toner was just kind of like drying out my skin and i felt like it was giving me more acne just because it was like drying out my skin and i felt like it was making my skin produce like more oils or something i don't really know when i wasn't using the toner my skin seemed to be more clear it could have been a coincidence but i wasn't really sure so i stopped using the toner but i used to use the toner and i liked the toner it made my skin feel really nice but I didn't know if it was like causing me more acne. After I've taken off my makeup, I moisturize my skin and I use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I don't like the moisture, the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. It's really greasy and thick and it feels really gross on the skin. Um, but the moisturizing gel is really lightweight. It's really, um, it just feels really nice. I also like the Glossier Priming Moisturizer and Priming Moisturizer Rich. I like those as well. Um, but because I'm having so many issues with my skin breaking out, I decided to just use this for the time being because I don't need any factors in more breaking out. So I didn't want to like try too many products that aren't like, that are newer to my skin. So I went back to my old one that I've used forever. Um, but I do like those the time I was using those for a short time. But like I said, my skin is just in a very sensitive spot right now. It's very vulnerable. So I went back to my old one that I've used forever. But I do like those Glossier moisturizers as well. So after I've done that, the next thing I use is the Glossier Super Pure Serum. And this I swear by, if you have acne, this is going to target redness and breakouts. Um, it says it calms breakout prone skin and redness. Um, apply over clean face and follow with moisturizer. I love this. Love this so much. This is actually my second one. I've completely used a whole entire bottle. So just use this, finish this up the other day. Um, I literally swear by this. It's like magic potion. I like magic juice. I don't even know. It works so good. Um, I was using this a little bit over the summer. Like I said, my skin was clear over the summer. But when I would get like a little pimple or something um you know clear skin people props when i would get like a little something i would use this and it would just like make it go away it's just like magical so a couple days ago i got this really big pimple on my forehead like it almost looked like a mosquito bite it was so big it looked so infected it was just gigantic like it was huge like so big i put this mixed with another product i'm about to show you on it for like two nights and it's like completely gone down it's not gone but it's like complete like it's not sticking out as much and it's not as red it's like really really gone down so this works so well i wish i would have like taken a picture or something but i promise you this is like amazing so if you have acne redness pimples even if you don't like if you just get them occasionally i can't even tell you like how much i swear by this this is like everything to me my number one skincare product i can't live without Love this. Along with that, there is like a super pack of three serums. So if you don't, like if you want all three of them, there's three. And that's like the number one one that I use the most. Obviously I repurchased it, um, but I do like these ones as well. This is the Super Glow. Um, I use this a lot in the summer when my skin was clear. This one like really brightens um, dull and tired skin. And this one really just made my skin look so glowy and energized. It just, I really liked it a lot. This one I recommend as well. Maybe if your skin's like already clear. Maybe if you don't really need one that focuses on redness and breakouts, this one would be good. I like this one. I don't really rely on it as much as I rely on the Super Pure, but I do like the Super Glow. This one I probably use the least, but I would consider it part of my skincare routine. And it's the Super Bounce. And this one really focuses on um, just like moisturizing and hydration of your skin. I don't use like 
like all three like I usually just choose one whenever I'm like cleansing my face because I feel like I don't want to put three more three serums on at once um so typically because I my face is breaking out I usually use the super pure because again it focuses on the redness and breakouts um but if my skin is really dry and just like whatever because it's winter I do use this one occasionally but if you don't want to spend that much and you just want to pick one obviously the super pure is my favorite but if you have some extra money to spend and you don't really have any serums the super pack all three of them is I really do like all three of them so after I have picked a serum to put on the next thing I do and I literally like love Glossier skincare products like obviously I think this is the last thing I have from Glossier um, but the next thing I use is the Glossier zit stick so they this is like a recent product it came out whenever I um, this came out pretty recently. I think it came out maybe in like October. And I feel like this really does work. I don't know if it works as good as like the Super Pure. Like I don't know if it's that amazing. Um, but I use this like in combination with that. And like I said, this this really went down. So I don't know which product in particular it was. But usually Super Pure does that for me. Um, but I love this Glossier Zit Stick. It works. I would say it works pretty good. It looks like this. It's got like this metal tip and then you just twist the product out and it comes out and I'll just like twist out like a lot of it and I'll just like put it on the whole entire cluster and then like rub it in. It's supposed to target one specific pimple. So you would just put it on this one pimple, but I just like put out a ton and just like put on the whole entire like cluster of pimples because I don't usually have just one that I'm focusing on. Um, but yeah, this works good. I like it. I have been using this a lot. Next up is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion, and you've probably seen this um, if you've watched like any skincare routines, because like everybody uses this. Um, I'm pretty sure even Kylie Jenner uses this. Um, and it just looks like this, and you want to keep it separated. Do not shake it up. I know it's tempting, but don't do it. Um, you can get this at Ulta. You can get it at Urban Outfitters. You can get it like everywhere now, I feel like. Um, but basically, just stick a Q-tip in there and get like a little bit of like the powder at the bottom. And then you take this and you put it on like specific pimples and I'm sure you've seen like people use it, but I would put it on like this pimple, this pimple, this pimple, just like every single one. And it really helps like dry them out. I feel like this one also kind of like works like magic overnight. Um, so when you wake up in the morning, they just look significantly better. Um, I don't know that it works as well on like cystic pimples. You have like the little kind of, um, non-cystic pimples it works really really well for those doesn't work as well for cystic pimples because again they're under the skin it's a hormonal issue so it's not going to heal those as well um but it does kind of help dry them out i haven't used that one recently because i've been using the zit stick kind of instead and last but not least banana bright eye cream and i always thought i was pronouncing the name of this right but the brand name of this right but recently somebody i've heard it pronounced a different way so i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right so i'm not gonna say it but the banana bright eye cream by this brand i used to use this like all the time and then i just got lazy and stopped doing this but i did really like it i need to start using this again it's great for like moisturizing your under eyes and kind of like brightening them up i have really bad under eyes I really need to start using this again especially with school it is pretty expensive for being like this small but you really don't need a lot you hardly need any so that is my skincare routine kind of like a little update on my skin as well um so i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy any like more like skincare on my channel let me know if you'd like me to do like a glossier review because i pretty much purchased almost everything that glossier sells at this point and i'm like obsessed with glossier so if you guys would like like an in-depth review on like my review on pretty much everything that glossier sells let me know if you guys would be interested in that because i would love to do that i'm obsessed with Glossier. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.